guys, so today I'm going to share with you how I film and edit and produce my videos. Over the past two years that I've had my YouTube channel, I've got lots of questions about what I use to edit, what I use to film with, my whole setup, everything. So I thought I would just do a video and tell you guys. Alright, so starting with my camera, <laughs> I use a Canon 600D or it's also called the T3i in some countries, but in Australia it is the 600D. We bought the camera body just itself and not with the kit lenses because I didn't like them. I had a lens in mind that I wanted to get, which is what I'll talk about next. <laughs> and there's really nothing wrong with the 600D. I really like it. Um, it has a flip screen so I can see exactly what my whole setup looks like. Now the lens that I like to use the most is by Tamron and it is called the 17 to 50 millimeter lens with a f-stop of 2.8. Now the lower the f-stop the more um, bokeh or blurry background you're going to get. So basically bokeh is another word for depth of field. So depth of field is what uh, is in the background. So a lower f-stop generally brings out a better looking picture. I really like this lens for filming, it's pretty good, but for taking photos it's not that great just because of the limited zoom that you have. So you can only zoom up to 50 mils, which really isn't that much. So for taking photos I also have a Tamron 18 to 270 millimeter um, camera, which is pretty pretty darn big. <laughs> so I like using that one for taking photos. But for video, I use my 17 to 50 millimeter. I also have a Canon 50 millimeter lens, uh, which has an f-stop of 1.8, which is even lower. So it brings out even nicer photos. That is my phone, which I'll have to check. Otherwise, it'll go off two more times. Next thing that is pretty important is lighting. Lighting is very, very, very important for YouTube videos. Even if you don't have a great camera, lighting will make your video look so much better. <laughs> so as you can see, I have a window behind me and this is the only window that is in this room. So I have two lights set up here, one here, one there, and they're just your standard box lights. I got them from eBay. I I think it was around $60, including postage, which was really, really good. I'm really happy with them, they're fantastic. Whenever you buy lights, particularly for makeup, you need to make sure you buy the correct color temperature bulb. You want um, the color temperature to be, I think it's around five and a half thousand, I think. Um, but I will put that below. That's the color temperature of natural light. So you don't want a warm white, you don't want a super cool white, you want the same color temperature as of natural light. I hope that made sense. <laughs> I'll link the um, eBay store below where I got my lights from. I'm really happy with them. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is my current setup, what I'm filming, what, I, what I've set up. <laughs> Oops, that was my hand. Um, what I have set up for today's filming of this video. So I've got my camera there, and then I've got my two big box lights there, which provide awesome light. So there's my camera and my tripod, and then this is where I sit down here, and that's what you guys see there. Yep, that's uh that's a lot of stuff there. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is what you guys see. Okay, so my mic, I've got little notes here, <laughs> my mic um, that I have is from eBay. It was only, oof, I don't even know how much it was, <laughs> but it's just from eBay as well. It's not your best quality mic, but it's certainly a lot better than the internal mic in the camera itself. I do want to upgrade to a better mic, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, also, another thing, good thing to have is a remote. I got this remote from, I think it's called Camera Warehouse. I'll link it below again. 
Uh, I know you can get these on eBay though. Um, I'm not sure how much I paid for mine. Uh, but yeah, they're very, very, very handy. Uh, there's like a little switch on the back, which switches it to different modes. So if I put it on the bottom one with the dot next to it, that'll um, focus and take a photo. And then if I switch it up to the two, it will start recording. So it's really, really handy <laughs> when you're sitting in front of the camera and you don't have, you know, I can't just reach around and press the button because as you can see I'm a fair way away from the camera. I feel like a, a flight attendant. That way is the exit. Yes. Mm. Uh, now on to editing which takes up most of the time. Filming doesn't take up too much time. Editing does. I personally like my, like I, I do a lot of editing. I do a lot of effects um, as you guys probably know. I really like my videos to look professional, as professional as I can get them to look. So I'm always on the hunt for tutorials, new websites I can download plugins from, um, that sort of thing. So when I first started out, I would edit and, um, well that's it, <laughs> I would edit my videos on my Dell laptop, which is just sitting there, but you can't see, it's just out of frame. Um, that laptop is about five or six years old now, um, but that's what I started out editing on, and it's good. I've always had Dell laptops. I really like Dell laptops. Um, the program that I used on that, first of all, was Windows Movie Maker, I think it's called. But for some strange reason, it I mean, it was good and everything, and I liked it for, for when I first started out. Um, but it just would crash all the time and I was getting so frustrated. So I ended up purchasing a program called Sony Vegas and that was fantastic. That was, that was a really good program um, for what I needed then. So I can definitely recommend that program to Windows users. Uh, last year in June we bought our first iMac which is that sucker back there that you can see. I've wanted an iMac for a very long time. Apple computers are fantastic for everything to do with the creative side. Um, if you're looking for a computer for more, more so for like spreadsheets and that sort of thing, Word documents, just function sort of things, <laughs> a, um, a PC is the way to go. But because I primarily want to use my Mac for editing and um, photo editing, video editing, that sort of thing. That's why we got the Mac and it was a big, not gonna lie, it was a very big investment. Um, I think our iMac, it cost, I think, because we did, we did um, upgrade a few little things on it just because we are, well, just because I <laughs> use it primarily for editing videos. Um, it did cost about two and a half thousand. That sounds a lot saying that. Um, so yeah, it is it is an investment, um, but I do not regret it because I freaking love my iMac. I love it so much. And if you're wondering, we got the bigger screen, which I think is 27 inch. Now, when we got the iMac, I was like, oh, I wanna check out Final Cut Pro, because you know, everyone uses Final Cut Pro. And I looked at it and I was like, ooh, that's expensive. <laughs> But um, they had a trial, so I thought I'd download the trial, see what it was like, see if I liked it. Um, yeah, I, I, I tried the trial, tried the trial, <laughs> tried the trial out, and it was pretty hard at first because it was just so different, like working from Sony Vegas. Like going from a Windows to a Mac is very different, let alone going from from Windows Sony Vegas to Mac Final Cut Pro. It was very, very different. So it was difficult at first, but I quickly got a hold of things and watched tutorials and, and that sort of thing. And I absolutely love Final Cut Pro now. It is so, it, it allows you to be so creative and it's easy to use, it's quick to use. Um, I really enjoy it. So after my 30 days was up, I thought, okay, I'll, I'll try iMovie. When you go from Final Cut Pro, which you have creative freedom to the max, to 
to iMovie, it, it, it's a massive step down and um, it was taking me so much longer to edit my videos because I couldn't do what I wanted to do and which was simple things. Um, so we ended up purchasing Final Cut Pro and that's another thing that I do not regret because Final Cut Pro is freaking awesome. Love it. Just touching on what I said before about I do a lot of creative things with my videos. I do a lot of transitions, a lot of text effects, um, themes, that sort of thing. So I use a lot that come with Final Cut Pro, but I also purchase some from a website called Pixel Film Studios. Now I found this uh, website through another YouTuber called Makeup by Anne-Marie. Um, she is awesome, you guys should check out her channel. Um, but this is a website that makes plugins for Final Cut Pro in particular. So I've bought transitions, I've drawn a blah, blah, blah. So I've bought transitions, I've bought text effects, themes, um, like if you'll see in my videos, uh, I just recently bought a package um, where I can kind of put the, the lights, like the bokeh lights across the screen and it's kind of faded and you can kind of see it like that's a new one of the latest ones that I've bought from Pixel Film Studios. They very very regularly have sales. Any kind of public holiday, celebration day, it'll be like 25% off, happy 4th of July, you know, that sort of thing. Um, like St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, Christmas, New Year, um, all of the American holidays which I don't know they will always have a 25% off sale and it's very, very regularly. So they are awesome for um, all the effects and stuff that I get from them. Just something different from um, what Final Cut Pro provides. The music that I use in my videos. Now sometimes it's from the YouTube um, library, music library that they have for creators. Uh, sometimes it's from different websites that are royalty free, all you've got to do is list it in your description, like credit them. Um, but I will list those websites down below, but they're really good, there's heaps of websites out there like that. Um, some you do have to pay for, uh, and some are completely free. So I think that is about it, I think that's everything. If I've missed anything, if you guys have a question, don't be afraid to ask me in the comments below, I will answer you. And uh, yeah, so I hope this answered a lot of questions. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll be talking to you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye! I guess it's true, I'm a good spot of who I am. But I still need love cause I'm just a man